As a follow-up to our phone conversation, here is a copy of what your WCRB worksheet looks like and can explain why you had such a substantial increase in your experience mod. On the left side, we have payroll, and on the right side, we have claims, and it's a total of three years. If there's an imbalance of those two, then your experience mod goes up. So basically, if your payroll is low and your claims are high, then that's gonna drive your experience mod up. Conversely, if your payroll is high and your claims are low, then your experience mod's gonna go down. The Bureau report is very important to have as it shows all of your open workers' comp claims. Here's an example of an account that had 20 open workers' comp claims, some of which they didn't even know about. Here's another example of an account that had missing payroll, and they also had them classified incorrectly. When we put the payroll in and we classified it correctly, this resulted in a return premium of over $53,000. To find out what kind of errors you have, we're going to send you an email from the WCIRB which will have an electronic signature for you to sign and will release what's called your experience modification worksheet to you. Once you've had a chance to review it, you can forward it to us. We will then go through it and see if you have any incorrect claims. We'll see how many open claims you have. If you have any payroll or misclassification issues that we can address. And this is important for us to drill down and find out why your experience mod has gone up so much. So sign the authorization and we'll get started.